Well, boys, the world's on fire. Get your marshmallows out. <laughs> Roast them over the nearest burnt-down Wendy's or, well, some other establishment. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'm not going to get into this whole thing about doxing bad, okay? I think you're, if you're watching this, you're smart enough to know. I hope you're smart enough to know that doxing is bad. I'll have to explain to you why. We're, we're going to be talking about Sky Jackson, on the other hand, who's been doxing minors and also adults. But minors, which is worse to me, honestly, is worse than doxing adults. Uh, it's both bad. Just the age group just makes makes it wor one makes it worse or better or worse, sort of. I don't know how to really describe it. But it should be doing this for people saying racist things, racist jokes, racist memes, uh, racist TikToks, doing racist TikToks, which, look, I'm all, you can call racism out, I don't give a shit, I mean, people can call it racism, but doxing is not okay, and I've heard some pretty asinine excuses, some some dumb excuses for this, oh, they could work in important fields, like they could be a doctor and a lawyer, and these races could be doctors and lawyers, first of all, a large chunk of these people, a majority of these people were all making jokes and some of which were just dumb memes. I'm pretty sure, um, pretty sure. But either way, yeah, congratulations, you've ended racism forever. Oh, good for you! And how was it? I hope it was fucking good because it's useless now, isn't it? The people defend Sky as well, they say, oh, People who, they tell the people who go after her, oh my god, imagine going after a teenager. First of all, um, no bitch, she is motherfucking 18 years old. She's an adult now. You know, she was 13, I could kind of see the problem, but even, even though in my case it wouldn't matter because A, doxing is still bad no matter the, who, the age of the person doing it. And B, my logic with that is if you're going to act grown, I'm going to talk about you or talk to you or about you like you're grown. Uh, exhibit A, Danielle Bergoli, back when she was like 14 to 15, I had no problem calling her a cunt. And she was, so, so there was, I had no issue doing that. Uh, but then other people say, oh, well, they're mad because they're racist. Uh, no, they're not. There's a lot of people, people of all races just calling her out on this shit. It's not about being racist, it's just they think it's wrong. You know, <laughs> just, just stop, just stop. And there's a lot of dangerous shit into what she's doing here. For starters, People say, "Oh, you're putting people's lives in danger." Oh my God, you're being, you're being over dramatic when you say people, people are gonna die. Really? Uh, yeah, that's how doxing, or at least digging up people's information, is how swatting start. You know, sometimes it doesn't even be, it doesn't even be, it has to be a dox because sometimes people can dig up the information and keep it to themselves because doxing involves releasing it to the public. But the people, the person who digs up the information, could just. Uh, could just keep it to themselves, send their information to the pol to the police, get a SWAT team in there, and people have died from swatting. So yes, in fact, they're not being overdramatic, they're being realistic. And then also, not to mention, she ended up doxing the wrong people. Or rather, she doxed one person who was the wrong person, she meant to get, she meant to get someone else, and she doxed, doxed another person who turned out to be innocent. You know, all that the tweets and stuff, that, that or the stuff that dug, dug up on him, was fake. Uh, I don't know if she's aware of that one, but she knew of the other one, this guy named Dylan, who said, like, listen, don't defame me. Don't bring me into this shit, all right? And this... <laughs> I don't even think this funky bitch even apologized to these people. Like, to, the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the, Dylan especially, because she commented on it by saying, okay, don't say anything more to this person, okay? Just send me the right people from now on. Like, bitch, how about a fucking sorry? You Teutonic twat? What is wrong with you? God damn! Who, I, you, this this whole thing just screams of someone who didn't get one, who didn't get enough ass weapons as a child. That's that's what this screams of. This screams of I didn't get enough ass weapons as a child, and <laughs> here I am in the world, in a world full of people who didn't get enough ass weapons as a child, also known as Twitter. Like, oh boy. And some of these people she's calling out that said this shit years ago, which brings me to my next point. The real truth of all of this, she's not doing this. Because she said she hopes that people learn from their mistakes or learn from this and they educate themselves. She's not doing it for that reason. She's not doing it for any reason other than that. Because if that were the case, the Hartley Sawyer tweets you supposedly exposed, which you didn't, someone else exposed them back at the end of May. You jump in at the beginning of June 
and you, you everyone's clapping and cheering for you like fucking seals. Like, oh my god, she spells no, she didn't. She knew shit. Someone else did that, dug that shit up. She leeched up someone else, but you know, whatever. I don't, I'm pretty sure the person ain't gonna care anyway. Um. So yeah, that heart we saw your tweets back in like 2012, 2014. You don't think he learned or f- from his learned from his mistakes or, or educated himself after those all, all that time? No, of course not. You don't, of course you don't think that because you don't care. Some of these people that she's doxing and putting out there said these said, said some of this shit years ago. And granted, a lot of this shit's pretty fucked up, but a lot of it's just dumb memes. A lot of this shit is, is pretty fucking is is fucking racist. It's not it's not be it's not beat around the bush. It's fucking racist. A lot of it is just memes and fucking jokes that just uh, just exist. <laughs> and she doesn't care, but she doesn't care about the, the amount of time, whether or not they learn from it. She didn't she, I don't she even talk to these people, first of all. She probably doesn't even talk to these people. To tell them what they're doing is wrong. She doesn't care about any of that. What she cares about is what she's been retweeting for for a bit over a little bit. Which is all the praise and the attention and the publicity of doing what she's doing. That's all she cares about. That's all she did. That's all this ever was about. Don't let this bitch fool you and just think, oh, she's doing it. No, 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 no. No, partner. Don't, don't, get, don't, get, don't get that twisted. And she's got a book out which the title of that book just screams of, hey, could you stick your tongue deep into my ego and then swirl, please? Eek. The fuck? <laughs> Get it? Cause it's her name. No one cares. Shut up. Ugh. But she's gonna get away with this, you know. Her celebrity status, whatever celebrity status she has left, um, she's gonna get away with it. <laughs> you know. I know she did what some fucking Disney Channel shows, and that's about it. In this book, and that's all she had going on in her. In her Korea so far, but if you look at Juicy Smoothie, you look at Amber Heard, these people will get away with some dirty shit, you know. Juicy Smoothie, which I might be wrong about Juicy, he supposedly is getting gonna get some jail time for what he did. So uh, maybe I'm wrong about him. I'm not saying celebrities get away with everything. That's bullshit. But celebrities get away with some shit <laughs> that regular folk can't get away with. Juicy Smoothie was was released. I think they dropped the charges, didn't they, initially? Drop the charges? Anyone else would be in jail right now. <laughs> Amber Heard, same shit. She should, anyone else be in jail right now? Female or not, other people argue it's a gender thing, but either way, I assu- I would imagine that a woman, regardless, would be in jail for, for the shit she does, for the shit that Amber Heard's been doing. But, you know, doesn't matter. You got that status, therefore you can do whatever the fuck you want. Somebody doxing minors, they will be suspended off Twitter like that. Guess what she got? A 12-hour Twitter ban. My heart goes out to you. Thoughts and prayers for all the the agony, the 12 hours of agony you had to stay off of this this fucking cesspool of a site. That is Twitter. And you know what's going to happen. If the the people she doxed... um, more specifically, the people that she falsely doxed, like the, the guy Dylan, who sh- was who she got wrong. If, she, if that person ends up deciding to, to to sue her, which I would support one hundred percent, you know what's gonna happen, right? All her little, all, all her little celebrity Hollywood friends, all her, all her followers, all her stands, all this shit, will be screaming racism in a heartbeat. <laughs> They'll scream, oh, he's racist. If Twitter decides to actually be consistent with their terms of service and get rid of her ass, <laughs> they be, they, Twitter would be racist. What, oh, yeah, Twitter's racist. Okay, sure. What are you going to do? You're going to walk away? You're going to get off Twitter? You, li- you live on this site. That's the equivalent of you walking out of your house and never sleeping in it again. You just might, You live on this damn site, some of y'all. The cherry on top of this, this just pure bus fire of just dog shit is... Sky Jackson, not too long ago, I think it was yesterday or the day before, said, and I'm quoting this, I just wish social media, I'm not quoting this directly, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best. The gist is still there. I wish social media was more positive. 
And I'm going to leave you with that. And leave you... Actually, I'm going to leave you with my response to that. Bitch, please!